Agora TV. The world is thinking. sucking sea slug tail or the solar powered nudibranch or sea slug tail. So this is actually about a sacoglost and remember I talked to you about, told you about the different groups. This is not a true nudibranch, this is a sap sucking sea slug. And I'm going to talk about a group called Alicia. Right, so remember that the sacoglossans have these piercing teeth. So here are some of the teeth here. And they use these teeth to pierce algae algae that are kind of like, that don't have cell walls, it's just a bunch of chloroplasts inside this, once they pierce it, just chloroplasts and other cellular parts. So they pierce this, they suck up all of the insides, and they're what's called a kleptoplast. And that means they steal the chloroplasts from the algae. So we've had this like running theme of stealing from your prey, right? So these guys, Alicia, they actually take the organelles, they take the chloroplast from their algal prey and put them in their body, in their digestive tissue. So this Alicia, that the, the specific species that this work, most of the work has been done on, feeds on a specific species of algae. It takes up and sequesters or holds onto its prey's chloroplast. But the amazing thing is, not only does it take the chloroplast, the chloroplasts continue to photosynthesize in the slug, which might be, okay, maybe it could photosynthesize for a while, but these can continue to photosynthesize because somehow, well, they continue to photosynthesize for long periods of time. And we know from the biology of the algae that the chloroplast needs proteins that the algal nucleus makes not the slug. So 90% of its needed proteins are made by the algal nucleus, the DNA in the, al in the algae. So these chloroplasts are in the, the slug, but they don't have all the genes they need to function, to need to, to photosynthesize properly. So recently it's been found that the slug genome has, um, the nuclear gene that facilitates photosynthesis is found in the slug genome. And it's the same as what's found in the algal genome. So somehow, elements of the algal genome have been transferred to the slug. Uh, 